what is going on guys welcome to your 41st UDK tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be introducing something to you guys called Kismet now what Kismet is is it's basically UDK's visual programming so what that means is well right now whenever we were playing our levels our user could pretty much just run around and shoot his gun and that's pretty much it not very exciting pretty boring if you ask me so in order to make this game more interactive we want to allow the user to do other things like open doors and turn on light switches and ride elevators and we just want him to be able to interact with the environment other than you know just running around and shooting his gun into the air so in order to do this in order to give our player the functionality to accomplish all these things we need to use something called kismet now first and foremost you guys are probably looking around oh, alright kismet 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 where are you what the heck does this kismet thing look like well in order to open the kismet window you go up here and right next to your content browser you can see this little K with an arrow poking out of it and it says open unreal kismet so if we go ahead and click that then this is our kismet window and again we're not just ready to step into this window right now I just want to show you guys how to access kismet and it is indeed a thing I'm not lying about it so we'll get into this when it's time but for right now what I'm going to be doing is in these upcoming tutorials I'm just going to build a really simple example for you guys I'm just going to be making a simple switch that our player can turn on and off and when he does it turns the light bulb on and off so again I just want to show you guys a real quick example of how you can make a level and use kismet to give the user something to interact with and later on I'm gonna be building some more complex functionality using kismet so for right now like I said we need a very simple level so I'm just gonna go ahead and right click my brush and I'm just gonna change this to 2048 and 2048 and I'll leave my Z at 32 and build and in my perspective view if I hit B my builder brush will come back up and I just want to add some mass to my level and hit B again hide my builder brush so again all I'm building is a very flat level somewhere for my player to run around on so right after this since we want to play this level I'm just gonna go ahead and add a light now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna hold down L and left click and I'm gonna add a light in this corner of the room and the reason let me just scroll out here let me position my light so it lights up about half of the room right here now what I'm going to be building is a system where there's a light switch in the middle and whenever the user clicks it a light bulb lights up the other half of the room so make sure that you don't have this light bulb cover the entire room or else you're not going to be able to tell when the other light is on or off so that's why I built this to cover only half of the room so now what I want to do is I want to add a static mesh right over here remember whenever I was teaching you guys about static meshes and I told you guys that what you do is you add a light static mesh and then you add an actual game light on top of it to, to simulate a light coming from that static mesh well that's what I'm going to be doing again so I'm going to be going in my content browser and clear everything out all assets X and clear and just go ahead and look for light again and make sure you're looking in static meshes and now when you find one you like I'm just gonna use that same light from last time It worked out pretty good that time right here what I can do is drag this out right on my screen in my perspective view and there I go so what I'm gonna be doing first and foremost is bumping up the scale to three times its normal size and then I'm just gonna be dragging it up and dragging it over in the corner somewhere so if we look in my perspective view we can see that indeed this light is in the corner right there but there's no light coming from it so what we're going to be doing eventually is adding one of these game lights right next to this light so then whenever we turn this game light on and off it's going to look like this light is turning on and off a pretty cool trick huh kinda of to uh, trick my viewers so that's what I'm going to be doing in the upcoming tutorials. I actually don't know how long this tutorial was because I forgot to look at this camera, I mean, excuse me, this clock before. But I guess that that's what we're going to be doing in the upcoming tutorials. So that's what you guys have to look forward to. But for now, that's all you guys get. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.